Unit 7, Lesson 5, Using Negative Numbers to Make Sense of Contexts. Number 1. Write a positive or negative number to represent each change in the high temperature. A. Tuesday's high temperature was 4 degrees less than Monday's high temperature. 4 degrees less would be negative 4. B. Wednesday's high temperature was 3 and 5 tenths degrees less than Tuesday's high temperature. That would be negative 3 and 5 tenths. C. Thursday's high temperature was 6 and 5 tenths degrees more than Wednesday's high temperature. That would be positive 6 and 5 tenths. D. Friday's high temperature was 2 degrees less than Thursday's high temperature. That would be negative 2. Number 2. Decide which of the following quantities can be represented by a positive number and which can be represented by a negative number. Give an example of a quantity with the opposite sign in the same situation. A. Tyler's puppy gained 5 pounds. Gaining 5 pounds would be worth positive 5, and the opposite of that would be negative 5. B. The aquarium leaked 2 gallons of water. Leaking two gallons of water would be negative two, and the opposite of negative two is positive two. C. Andre received a gift of $10. Receiving a gift of $10 would be positive 10, and the opposite of that would be negative 10. D. Kieran gave a gift of $10. Giving a gift of $10 would be negative 10, and the opposite of negative 10 is positive 10. E. A climber descended 550 feet. Descending would be negative, so negative 550, and the opposite of negative 550 is positive 550. Number 3. Make up a situation where a quantity is changing. A. Explain what it means to have a negative change. The temperature decreased from 90 degrees to 85 degrees. B. Explain what it means to have a positive change. My checking account is finally in the positive. Yesterday I owed the bank $10, but after I deposited my $200 paycheck today, my account balance is $190. C. Give an example of each. Negative change. The temperature going down is an example of a negative change. Positive change. A rise in temperature is a positive change. Number 4. A. On the number line, label the points that are 4 units away from 0. I drew a number line and I put points to the right which would represent positive 4 and I put points to the left, which would represent negative 4. Both positive 4 and negative 4 are 4 units away from 0. B. If you fold the number line so that a vertical crease goes through 0, the points you label would match up. Explain why this happens. Because each positive number has an opposite negative value, which is the same distance from 0. C. On the number line, label the points that are 5 halves units from 0. What is the distance between these points? I forgot to put my points in there, so make sure that you put the points. To the right of the 0 at 5 halves, I've labeled it 5 over 2, which represents 5 halves. Instead of placing a little line right there, place a point. And then at 5 halves to the left of the 0, I have negative 5 halves, and again, on that line underneath negative 5 halves, make sure you put a point. From the point located underneath negative 5 halves, all the way to the point located underneath 5 halves, it would be 10 halves. The distance from point to point would be 10 halves, and 10 halves is equal to 5 units. So the distance between these two points are 5 units. Number 5. Evaluate each expression. A. 2 to the 3rd power times 3. 
that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, or 8 times 3, and 8 times 3 is 24. B. 4 to the second power over 2. That equals 4 times 4 over 2, or 16 over 2. And 16 over 2 means 16 halves, or 16 divided by 2, which equals 8. C. 3 to the power of 1. I want you to take a guess on that one and we'll come back to it later. D. 6 to the power of 2 divided by 4. That's the same as 6 to the power of 2 over 4, or 6 times 6 divided by 4. And 6 times 6 is 36. 36 divided by 4 equals 9. E. 2 to the third power minus 2. That's the same as 2 times 2 times 2 minus 2. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And 8 minus 2 equals 6. F. 10 to the second power plus 5 to the second power. That's the same as 10 times 10 plus 5 times 5. 10 times 10 is 100. 5 times, five, times 5 is 25. So 100 plus 25 equals 125. Going back to C, 3 to the power of 1. You took your guess, and 3 to the power of 1 is 3. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 7, Lesson 5, using negative numbers to make sense of context. Mm -hmm.